there was a lot of unknown going into this project. While we assumed that we would have a lack of biodiversity or find animals or wildlife that thrive in a bad environment, what we found was a different story. We found the story of the past through some of the biodiversity, and then we found a future uh, teeming with life. I noticed kind of a shocking amount of stuff emerging from the water. There was just a feeling of camaraderie and of discovery together and reconnecting with nature, which is part of what we want this project to do for people. You don't have to go somewhere special to, to be a discoverer. You can go out and explore and appreciate that diversity. One Cubic Foot has given us a tool to scientifically assess the biodiversity of the Genesee River. And as a veterinarian and a scientist at the zoo, this helped us appreciate what we didn't know before, that the biodiversity is amazing. What David found was not only an extraordinary number of species in the river, surpassing our expectations, but also a community that was really interested in the project. The story of the recovery of the Genesee River, I think, is maybe the most valuable story to tell in this place at this time. There are simple actions we all can take to protect the Genesee River. People should support our farmers in efforts to reduce erosion. Nothing but rain should be going down the storm drain. Stop invasive species by stopping aquatic hitchhikers. Keep plastic bags out of the river. Collaborate with others to ensure safe and enjoyable access to our great waterways. Genesee River and the High Falls. It's beautiful, it's powerful, and it's right in our backyard. My Genesee. My Genesee. My Genesee. My Genesee. My Genesee. My Genesee.